In this video, I'll show you how to make a photo collage in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the images that I'll be using in the video description. For this example, I'm going to create a new document. So I'll go to the top to File, then New. Feel free to make this whatever size you need. For this example, it will be 1920 by 1080 pixels. So I'll go ahead and press Create. Before we place the photos into this document, let's make a frame for each of the pictures to sit inside. To do this, I'm going to use the Rectangle tool. I'll make sure that Snapping is turned on right up here. And then I'll click and drag to fill the entire document. To see this easier, I'm just going to change the color of this. And now I want to show you how you can resize this rectangle so that you can fit the document perfectly. To do that, we need the transform panel. So I'll go to the top of the screen to window and then down to transform. I'll click and drag on the word transform just to tuck it over here. And now we can use this to divide up this rectangle to make it fit perfectly. So let's choose how many rectangles we want in each row, so going across. If you want two rectangles going across, all you need to do is go to the width, click in the box, then click one more time so that the cursor is blinking. Then you can divide this by two. So click the forward slash and two, and then press enter. Now you have a rectangle that's exactly half the size of our document. So we can duplicate this across to have two perfectly sized rectangles. I'm going to undo with command or control Z so that I can show you how easy this is to customize. For example, if you want three rectangles going across, all you need to do is divide the width by three, then press enter, and now you have a perfectly sized rectangle to fill a third of the document. So you can choose whatever number of rectangles that you want. For this example, I'll keep it simple with just two going across, so I'll divide by two. Then I'm going to duplicate this across by holding Command or Control and Shift. That's the magic shortcut I was using earlier to duplicate. You can also divide this rectangle so that you have multiple rectangles in a column. So to do that, just select your rectangle, and this time, divide the height. So I'll divide this by two so that we can have two rectangles on this side. Then I'll use the magic shortcut of Command or Control and Shift to lower this down. And now we have three perfectly sized rectangles that fill our document evenly. Once you have all of the rectangles that you want, you can rename them just to keep track of them better. To do that, double click on the name and then type whatever you want. Now we can add an outline to the rectangles to create a nice edge. To do that, I'm going to select one of them and then hold Shift to select the top one so that they're all selected. Then I'll click on the FX icon right here. From here, go ahead and click on where it says Outline. We can add an outline to these shapes by raising the radius. I think around 20 pixels looks pretty good for this. Then we can change the color to whatever we want. I'll change mine to white. And last, we can change the alignment. Right now, the border is set to the outside of each of these shapes, so you can't see the border over here, and it's overlapping a little strange. So I like to change the alignment to center. That way, everything is centered nicely with the borders. So now we have a border going around each of our shapes. At first glance, I think this looks really great, 
But we do have one problem. The outline is cut off on the edges. You might think that we could fix this by changing the alignment, but that actually makes the other areas not look right. So here's how to fix the outer border. First, select the rectangle tool, and then create another rectangle that goes all the way across the document. With this rectangle selected, go to the FX icon and add an outline that's the same size to this one. So I'll make this 20 pixels. I'll make the color white. And this time for the alignment, instead of center, I'm going to choose inside. Now the full width of our outline is inside of this rectangle shape, which is perfect, but we can't see the rectangles underneath, so there's one last step. Go down to where it says Fill Opacity, and then lower this to 0%. So now the pink fill is completely invisible, but we can still see the nice border that we added. With that, we're finally ready to add our images. So I'll go to the top of the screen to File, then down to where it says Place. I'll select all of these images and I'll open them. And then I'll place them about where I want them in the document. Now we can make these child layers to the layers that we want them to belong to. So with the hand selected, I'm just going to click and drag downward, and I'll place it over the top layer to make it a child layer. So now it's locked into this shape, which is exactly what we want. So I'll do that for all of them, clicking and dragging them downward, and hovering them over the top like that to make them child layers. If you're having trouble clicking and dragging like I am, it's because we don't have a lot of room in our Layers panel. To fix this, I'm just going to get rid of the Transform panel so that I can click and drag without it scrolling around like that. Now that all of the layers are in their frames, we can open up each of the groups and then select the Photo layer so that we can adjust what this looks like. So I'll make this one a little bigger and I'll center it up. And I'll repeat that for the other ones. For the hands, I'll just click and drag so that it fills the whole rectangle. That looks really good. And last, we can adjust the cake. Now, you might have noticed that this is upside down, but that's a really easy fix. With the Move tool out, just right-click on the layer, and then go down to where it says Transform, Flip Vertical. So now it's facing the right direction. You can also flip this image around so that the cake is sitting on the other side by right-clicking, going to Transform, Flip Horizontal. So now you can see it's sitting on the other side. At this point, we can also still adjust the radiuses of our outlines by selecting all of our layers. Let's hold Shift to do that and then go down to the FX icon, and we can raise and lower the radius, and all of them will change at the same time, which is really nice. With that, now you know how to make a photo collage in Affinity Photo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.